being a dog person myself, the idea of a cat being able to communicate with me is at most annoying and at least pointless. I mean, what would we talk about? The food they like to eat? What they do when they're alone? Nothing with substance, obviously. But regardless, Temptation Labs has teamed up with Adam and Eve DDB and have created this beautiful thing. Since the beginning of time, cats have been an enigma. No one really knows what they're thinking. It's exciting, isn't it? To be honest, we don't really know what any animal is thinking, including other humans. We just communicate through language, but that doesn't give us any true insight into what other beings are actually thinking. And of course, the claim they make here is literally contradicted three seconds later with... Studies show they only meow in order to communicate with humans. So, I went to the internet to see if it was a real thing. Turns out a lot of people, cat owners and vets among them, agree with this fact. Wikipedia, for example, uses ASPCA's website as a source on the matter. But something all these sources are lacking is actual evidence. And can we really trust Alice, top writer of 2016 who is a linguistic turned artist turned mechanic or a veterinarian? You'd say, yes, we can trust a veterinarian. But let me ask you this. Would you ask a human physician why some humans talk to babies in gibberish? Chances are they'll say they don't know or they'll interject with their own opinion. You'd have a better chance of finding an accurate answer with a sociologist or psychologist in general. The notion that cats only meow at humans seems to be a very widespread myth. So much so that it actually took me a while to find something that says otherwise. And I found it in an interview that's targeted at 6 to 12th graders, no less. The story behind the cat's meow. I'm Bob Hershon and this is Science Update. Below, the website even asks, do you think alley cats who have little or no interactions with humans communicate in the same way as house cats? And going by what the article says about cats, I'm going to hypothesize that cats use meowing to show that they want something, whether it be food, attention, or as seen in this video here, pussy. So yes, cats meow at other cats when they want something, but what could they ever ask of a cat when you're around to do their every whim? Anyways, back to the ads. Oh, just have a look at this. It's exciting, isn't it? You have Holy shit, Whiskers, calm down. That doesn't go with my hypothesis at all. Neither does this. I'll have this one. I'll have this one. I'll have this one. Or this. Have you washed your hands? Okay, so right about now you might be saying, so what, it's a harmless ad that may perpetuate a harmless myth? I would agree. It probably won't even be a real thing. Except I saw this. Pet owners often feel like their dog or their cat. That animal's just trying to tell you something. So how would you like to hear what your cat is really thinking? By analyzing different cat noises, we've designed a digital sensor that detects a cat's meow and uses a unique program to turn it into a human voice. The result, the world's first talking cat collar. This is an actual news station reporting on this ad, the day after the ad went live. These news anchors actually start debating whether it's a real thing or not. This anchor says it would be a joke product, and this one seems like he's actually contemplating if such a product could even exist. In 24 hours, the ad campaign has already gained over 150,000 views, and the reason I'm making this video isn't just to capitalize on the traffic this topic will get me, nor is it to disprove the obvious sensationalist viral ad campaign. It's to point out the danger of ads like these. But look at the reactions right now. There's some people out there who actually believe this is a thing. And as badly as I want to say, let's just let them float down the abyss that is consumerism. I think it's better that people waste their money on something that's actually useful towards them. So before you go out and you make some Tumblr post about how we can talk with animals now, please, please, just, just for God's sake, don't embarrass yourself.